Good morning street hunters and welcome to another street talk episode. Today we're going to be talking about hip shots. I got quite a few questions regarding uh, this uh, shooting technique so I decided that it would be a good thing to talk to you about it. So I'm going to find a nice place to sit down and uh, I'm going to talk to you about the hip shot technique and after that I'm going to place this camera which I'm recording this video on on my Ricoh GR or my Fuji depending what I feel up to doing and I'll go and hit the streets and take some photos some hip shot photos so you can see how it's done that's it for now see you soon I have come to the uh, Retimno Marina where it's nice and peaceful and I know I can uh, talk without interruptions because I keep on meeting people in the streets of Retimno it's such a small town you can see it behind me over there it's such a small town, so it's uh, quite hard to uh, walk around without uh, seeing someone, bumping into someone you know. Bumping into someone you don't know, sorry. So it's hard to walk around town without bumping into someone you don't know. So I came here to talk to you about the hip shots, and after that, when I put the camera on my, uh, the, when I put the action cam, I'm recording this video on, on my camera to go and take some actual hip shots. I will be over there. So let's get to it. What is a hip shot? As far as I'm concerned, a hip shot is any shot you make that you don't frame using the camera. And what I mean is, you don't frame using a viewfinder and you don't frame using an LCD screen. So it's a blind shot. That's what a hip shot is for me. So a hip shot can be taken from the hip, it can be taken from the chest, it can be taken from the neck, can be taken you know from the side like this that's what a hip shot is if you take a photograph using the viewfinder like this or looking through the LCD screen if you're actually composing and framing your shot carefully then that's not a hip shot so those are the differences and that's what makes a hip shot a hip shot and that's what makes a normal shot a normal shot how to make a hip shot well that's easy first of all try not to use wide open uh, wide open apertures uh, unless you have the best autofocus camera in the world and unless you know where your camera is going to autofocus because you're not going to actually be composing and you're not actually going to be seeing what your camera is focusing on in other words use a high aperture value of f8 and above try and zone focus if possible or even if you're autofocusing at f8 it shouldn't be that bad and uh, then just uh, set your shutter speed set your ISO and start shooting depending on the weather and the light that you've got available if you need more information about camera modes just visit one of our previous videos in which we discuss camera modes you can see the link somewhere up here or up here one of the most famous street photographers in the world that uses the hip shot technique almost always is Daido Moriyama. It's very easy to shoot from the hip, nothing to it. All you've got to do is to use a wide angle lens. Yeah, I forgot to say that. The wider the lens, the better your hip shot. And uh, also hip shots tend to be of subjects that are quite close. So I'm not going to take a hip shot of the city over there, of the town over there. That'd be silly or I'm not going to take a hip shot of someone who's like five or six meters away from me. That would be silly. So you use a hip shot to get people that are close to you. Okay? Snap, like that. Anyway, enough of the talk and the theory. I'm sure you've understood by now what a hip shot is. I'm going over there. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. And uh, this camera, this video camera will be on my Ricoh and I'll doing hip shots. And I'll give you some examples so you can see what the hip shooting is, technique is like. I mean, what the results of the hip shooting technique are like, okay? So, see you soon. So I've placed my action cam on my Ricoh GR. I have set my uh, Ricoh GR to my my two settings, which are f11. I have a zone focus from uh, one meter to infinity by using a focal distance of 1.5 meters. I'm using ISO 800 and I am at aperture priority which means that shutter speed will be determined by the camera. In this uh, video I'm just showing you the technique so be prepared. Most of my photos, if not all, will be pants. Thank you.
So when you make a hip shot, you're actually feeling the photograph. You're sensing what's happening around you. You're using the wideness of your lens and a technique such as zone focusing or hyperfocal distance or an awesome AF system. It's nice uh, sometimes to, uh, to see what can come out from uh, shooting from the hip. Oh yes, also I forgot to mention that most people don't notice you when you shoot from the hip. Unless you've got, of course, you've got a action cam strapped to your camera, like I do. But even then, some people don't notice. You can get very close to your subjects and uh, make photos without them noticing. This is not my preferred method of shooting. I usually, 99% of the time, compose my photos using a viewfinder or the LCD screen. But some of you might find this type of shooting to your liking and you might find it suits your style of street photography. And this is the reason why I'm explaining it to everyone today. The thing that you have to uh, take into account when shooting hip shots is that it's not a hit or miss. It's a mostly miss kind of thing. So you've got to get used to it. I'll make a couple more photos and I think uh, that uh, that will be enough for today's video. So I hope your question concerning what is the hip shot technique is now answered and that you have understood how to make hip shots. Just remember, it's easy to use a wide angle, easier if you use a wide angle lens, if you use a zone focusing or hyperfocal distance technique, and if you have a small camera. That's it. Stay sharp and keep shooting, guys. Thanks for watching.